Good morning. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Wow, what a what a whirlwind of a week last week. <laughs> First I was sick and then I finally was feeling feeling better and then I had my daughter's baby shower to get ready for and that happened yesterday and the day got away from me and I apologize I did not go live yesterday but I did my journal pages uh, so I'll show you those today and um, if you have any questions on them feel free to ask all right so here was um, here was Saturday's page since I didn't get to show you Saturday's Saturday was um, Romans 12, 12, 1, and it was talking about, um, in God's mercy, offer your bodies as a living sacrifice. And um, I did just a picture of a, of a sheep um, there, but the whole idea is the fact that God is not telling us to put on our best clothes. He's telling us to come as we are with all of our problems, all of our difficulties, all of our temptations and our sins and bring them to him. So yesterday was uh, Matthew 5, 48. And our scripture yesterday was, be perfect therefore as your heavenly father is perfect. That's a tough one, huh? When you think about it. But this was, um, this was right at the end of chapter 5 when Jesus had gone up into the mountain and he was seated with his disciples and he was telling them all about being salt of the earth and light of the world. Um, and he wanted to reveal to his disciples that we cannot be perfect without him, without him interacting before God so that we can be perfect when we stand before God. So that was the one I did. I just did a couple words there. So today's scripture, good morning. Let me know who is here this morning. Um, today's scripture is uh, 1 John 1, 7, and it says, But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with each other, and the blood of Jesus, his son, purifies us from all sin. So I know that many of us have um, one special friend, one that just kind of gets it. Um, I can't help but think I was at my daughter's baby shower and I, I you know, saw Piglet and Winnie the Pooh and I can't help but think of them as being the absolute best friends. And little little uh, uh, Piglet says to Pooh, we'll be friends forever, won't we, Pooh? And Pooh says, even longer. <laughs> and Piglet says, how do you spell love? And Pooh says, oh, you don't spell love, you feel it. <laughs> and that's how Jesus and John were. Jesus was as much man as he was God. And he had his Piglet. The scriptures call him John. And that beloved disciple was just so special to Jesus. And John is the one who wrote the book of John, 1 John, 2 John, 3 John, and the book of Revelation. And if we read the beginning of 1 John, we can kind of feel that connection. John says, we've seen him, we've touched him, the one who is eternal life, the one who is with the Father in heaven. You gotta believe me. So John is telling his readers, including us, that God is the light. And we should walk in that light. And this is so poetic. And some may ask, what does that actually mean? So way, way back in the day of Moses, when he met with God, his face would glow. And he actually had to mask up to cover his face because it was shining so much. And I think that's kind of what John is talking about. When we spend time with God in prayer, we start reflecting that light to those around us. And when we get together with a bunch of believers, it's like, wow, that feeling is just magnified. And all because of Jesus and what he did for us on the cross. It reminds you of that kitten that walks into a room and it's, it's just a small little kitten. But then once he goes into a prayer group, he leaves a lion. The fellowship with two or more gathering his names makes something special happen and Jesus promises that he will be there with us we know that he never leaves us but this verse indicates that it is amplified when we are together we know what that feeling's like 
The Holy Spirit is wrapped around us. It's electrifying and energizing. And you feel like you can conquer anything. I want you to have that feeling today. I want you to feel that light with you. So remember that as you're reading your scripture today, as you're doing your devotionals today, share that light with whoever you can and spread it to everyone that you see. I hope that you have a very blessed day. As a reminder, make sure that when you see this video, if you're watching it on replay, type in replay and make sure you heart it so that we know that you saw it. And we will see you back again tomorrow. Bye-bye.